What's up guys, my name is Kelly and this is Kelly's Corner of Nightmares. Today we're going to be doing a ranking of my favorite franchise ever, Nightmare on Elm Street. We're going to be going from the worst to the best, in my opinion of course. I hope you guys like it, but first off, we're going to the shit of the shit my number nine spot okay so coming in our number nine spot freddy's dead the final nightmare Ugh, i cannot say enough about how much of an actual piece of shit this movie is not only does the acting suck ass but the whole movie just seemed like a huge money grab the story was stupid and very simple with a very blasé twist I didn't really care about any of the characters that includes the main character, Maggie. Even the kills in this movie could have been way better. I mean, a dude got sucked into a goddamn TV. You couldn't have done anything better than what you gave us? I know, right? That movie was so fucking shit. So gross. Ugh. But now we have my number eight, which is really not that much better. And now I have my number eight, which is Nightmare on Elm Street 4, Dream Master. First off, there's a huge recasting situation I have to address here. Replacing Patricia Arquette with Tuesday Night. Who are you, Tuesday Night? And where did you come from? Although, making the switch from what seemed like Kristen would have been the main character in this movie, just like in Dream Warriors, it ended up being Alice instead, which I thought was pretty cool. I do like the way they connect certain characters to different movies in this franchise, but this movie's story was not the least bit interesting to me. I do, however, say that in this one, Freddy is incredibly comical, and I actually like that. Pizza Freddy, hello! All right, and now we have my number seven spot, which can be a little controversial because I know some people actually liked this movie, but let's get into it. Okay, this one might be a little controversial, uh, but my number seven is definitely going to be A Nightmare on Elm Street, the remake. This 2010 remake definitely has its moments, but honestly, it's like Samuel Bayer took the original movie and did the exact same thing with it. Minus a few modern tweaks here and there, but it's still the same. Despite Jackie Earl Haley being a truly terrifying version of Freddy Krueger, I found myself getting very bored. Even the kills in this movie were incredibly lackluster for me, which is saying a lot. All right, for this next one, I know I'm probably gonna get some backlash for because it really wasn't that great, but there were some parts of this movie that definitely made me like it more. All right, coming in at my number six is Nightmare on Elm Street 5, Dream Child. This movie wasn't the greatest as far as keeping me interested, but there were a few parts in this movie that really helped me get through it. With Alice making her second appearance in this franchise, she finds herself pregnant with Freddy's child. Oh no. She ends up finding out she's pregnant after her late boyfriend's death by Freddy and immediately starts having these very weird but incredibly vivid dreams about Freddy and his past. Now with all the interesting parts in this movie, I also have to say that half of it was incredibly repetitive and semi-boring. However, the greatest death in this movie, I believe, had some nice creativity behind it and it turned out pretty gnarly. Stuffing someone with enough food to literally make them explode? Ew. You see what I mean? It really wasn't that bad. Well, in my opinion. But let's get into my number five, which is controversial for a different reason. Okay, so I have another controversial one, guys. Coming in at my number five is Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. Okay, hear me out on this one because I know how hated this movie was, but it wasn't that bad in my opinion this movie was released in 85 so the fact that it had so many homosexual undertones was daring 
But as the years went by, we as an audience have definitely been more accepting of it. The acting in this movie was not so great. However, it did have some pretty intense scenes thrown in. For example, the scene when Mark attempts to spend the night with his friend Ron in order to try and stop Freddy from coming back was just, oh my god, awesome. But with the good, I also have to give you the bad, which in my opinion was the acting. Not so great. Also, Freddy dogs. That's all I have to say. All right, so I don't know if anyone's gonna agree with me on this one, but my number four, I really enjoyed for the most part. So let's get into it. All right, now we have my number four, which is Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors with Patricia Arquette in the star role and Nancy's second appearance in the franchise. This movie was an automatically must watch for me. Also, we find out more about Freddy's past, more specifically his mother in this movie. Cool. With Freddy back in a big way in this movie, we also have some of the worst scenes and acting in this franchise. For example, the end of the movie when he turns into this weird worm snake thing and tries to swallow Patricia Arquette's character whole? No. Not for me. The kills in this movie were also a little subpar for the franchise. And now for my number three, which a lot of people talked about this movie when it came out and it was a must watch for everyone. Let's get into it. All right, people are probably gonna hate me for this one, but my number three is definitely Freddy vs. Jason. The crossover everyone had been waiting for. Brutal and slaying kills from both Freddy and Jason. However, Jason definitely took the mantle in my opinion, being the most badass in this movie. He literally gave no shits. In all seriousness, Freddy really didn't do much in this film, but he finally started putting some fear into people again. He worked hard at earning back that title of one scary pedo. What I found most interesting about this movie were the two side characters, Will and Mark, who try to break out of the psych ward in order to warn others that Freddy might be making his appearance again soon. Some of the best acting in the movie, in my opinion. Loved it. All right, I'm not for sure, but I think some people are definitely going to agree on my number two spot. Let's just see. All right, coming in at my number two slot, we have New Nightmare. Nightmare on Elm Street doesn't have the greatest sequels, but this one is by far one of the best, in my opinion. With an incredibly meta plot and some pretty okay acting for a horror franchise, it makes it worth it for me. And this is Nancy's, or in this case, her real name, Heather Langenkamp. Hope I said that right. Sorry if I didn't. Third and final appearance in the franchise. Also, some awful green screen mixed in with some great moments in this movie make it feel more like an 80s movie than a 90s. For instance, the scene close to the end where Freddy is green screened into the sky right in front of the moon. Yeah, we don't talk about that. There is one kill that stands out to me in this film though. The character Julie pretty much gets slaughtered in a very similar fashion as Tina's death in the very first movie. Interesting. And now for my number one spot, the beauty that is of all horror, in my opinion, <laughs> I'm so excited to say is... Okay, I'm very excited to say that my number one is A Nightmare on Elm Street. The original, of course. Now, this is my number one for many reasons, but to put in a few notes, I would have to say the kills and the imagination in this movie are what gets me. So much original content balled up into one 91 minute movie. This was also Johnny Depp's first ever role in a movie and in my opinion, he killed it. 
LOL. Two of the best kills in this whole franchise are in this movie. Tina, in the very beginning, with the brutal rip through her chest and torso in mid-air. And then we have Glenn, Johnny Depp's character, being sucked into his own bed, being crushed and made into a blood smoothie from ceiling to floor. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed my ranking. Let me know if maybe some of these controversial choices were yours as well. <laughs> All right. Uh, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you like and subscribe and let me know what you want me to talk about in the next video. Thanks. Good night.